Hello everybody and welcome to my new YouTube channel. On this channel I'm going to be talking about all things club fitting, the technology around club fitting, the technology in golf clubs and everything basically to do or touching club fitting. So to get things started let's talk about one of the myths that we come across quite a lot in, in club fitting which is are steel shafts stiffer than graphite shafts? So let's get stuck in. So for this test I used two shafts which have the same weight, it's 88 grams. On paper they have the same flexibility, so it's written stiff on the shaft. And I used a Callaway TCB Apex head which weighs 266 grams. Both shafts were standard length at 37 inches. So here we are on my gear system with the green player using the steel shaft and the blue player using the graphite shaft. This is me in both cases with the same club. So let us take the, uh, the green player or the, the steel shaft to the first stage in the swing where we're going to see some positive deflection. We're going to take it to the maximum positive deflection which is round about here. So we've already got 48 millimeters of positive deflection. So I zoom in on that. You can see the shaft is completely deformed or that club head is in lead deflection in front of the shaft at this stage. Let's zoom back out again. And I'm just going to take the graphite shaft to the same place. And we look at that. He's at 16 millimeters of positive deflection. So much less movement of the shaft going on early in this stage. Now what that's going to affect is basically how the shaft's going to work further on. So if I take the, the steel shaft pretty much up to the top now, you can see it's still in positive deflection here. So it's having, the shaft is not really coming back to its original form and staying in positive deflection quite late. And I take the, the graphite shaft pretty much to the same spot. And you can see that we've got a lot, lot less of positive deflection. The shaft is starting to realign now. And the next stage I want to show you is maximum negative deflection. So if I take the green player down to his maximum negative deflection in the downswing, you can see it's still positive for the moment. And it's going to get down very close to there. That's pretty much the maximum we're going to get. So it's pretty much zero. Got back to almost the same place as he was in the start. So very little um, that we can say charging of the shaft is not loading, that I'm not, I'm not able to load this shaft because there's been so much positive deflection early on or lead deflection. It's taken a lot of time for the shaft to get back to its original state. Now if I take the, the graphite shaft and do the same thing, and I move this down to pretty much the same spot, this is going to be much easier to load. So we're going to get up to, I think it's around about uh, positive, negative 14. There we go. That's a little bit earlier than that. Positive four, uh, negative 14, sorry, just around this area here. So this is going to be an easier shaft to load, although it's being stiffer. I can load it easier. So I've got negative deflection, i.e. there's energy in the shaft now, which can rebound back into the ball. Now if I take this now all the way down to impact for both players, you can see with the steel shaft that we've got a huge amount of lead deflection now. So this club head has come right in front of the shaft. 29 millimeters of lead deflection is almost three times what I'd be looking for with a, with a shaft or with a steel shaft if I was looking for control and consistency. Now you can see with the graphite shaft, I've only got seven or eight millimeters of positive deflection or lead deflection, so much, much less. So basically what's happening here is this shaft being too whippy or soft it's moving around too much and there's no energy really being restored into the ball. And what basically is going to come out of this is a lack of consistency. With the other one, they'll be able to load it and it's unloading, but it's not moving all over the place. And I think the, uh, the, the best way of showing this is to show you the impact point. So we go up here and have a look at this. 
up. You can see with the steel shaft, we've got shots pretty much all over the face, whether it be low heel, low toe, upper toe. But with the graphite shaft, they're pretty much all regrouped in the same area. So much more consistent with the graphite shaft. Some of the consequences of having too much of positive deflection or lead deflection like this is it's going to affect, as we've seen, impact point, but it's also going to affect dynamic loft, uh, which is obviously going to increase dynamic loft. It, it's also going to tend to bring the impact point lower down on the face. This can also change angle of attack, and it can also change swing path. So basically, the more deflection positive or lead deflection there is, the more the swing path will tend to go to the left the higher the ball flight will tend to be, and the more we'll tend to hit on the, on the bottom of the golf club. So to summarize, I think you can see from this, uh, the, the, the gears video, that the steel shaft in this case was definitely not as stiff as the graphite shaft. They're exactly the same weight, as stiff written on it, even if we know that doesn't mean much. But you can definitely see that the, that the steel shaft here was giving more irregularity as far as impact was concerned and definitely more irregularity as far as the trajectory was concerned. So in this case, a graphite shaft or that graphite shaft, the Mitsubishi MMT, was definitely stiffer than the Nippon Neo. You're seeing more and more professional golfers and top amateur players going towards graphite shafts on, on, on their irons now for that reason. You, you could definitely do more things with a graphite shaft. You can make it stiffer in different areas much easier than with a steel shaft, which is just basically a metal tube, which is either going to be thinner or thicker, which is going to make it stiffer or a little bit softer or lighter or heavier. So there's definitely more polyvalence with uh, a graphite shaft now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon.